move on to the next slide, um, which is an extension of um, the unincorporated trust structure, uh, and that's the incorporated trust boards. So, and, and this is probably one entity that a lot of your catchment groups may consider. Uh, we're going to talk about the two entities, uh, or Chris will later on, the, the, the two main entities that um, you're probably going to want to use if you're a fairly established or going to be a long-term organisation. Um, and that's to incorporate, and either to incorporate as in a society or an incorporated trust board. Now, the incorporated trust boards, um, the applicable law here is there's a, there's a particular act that covers incorporated trust boards, and that's the Tr Charitable Trust Act 1957. There's also the overlay of the Trust Act 2019, which I've just mentioned before. Um, <clears throat> so to incorporate under the Charitable Trust Act, there'll be certain requirements that you have to meet, meet and one of those being that you'll have a charitable trust deed. Uh, and that will be like your um, trust deed that I mentioned before. It will set out who the trustees are, uh, what the purpose of, of the, the charity is, and, and just how the um, trustees are appointed and removed, uh, how the trustees can act um, are, are some of the main things that will be included in that trust deed. So you've got the trustees, so you'll have individuals generally appointed as trustees, but they will act as a board, and, and that will mean um, that they have, the, the board is, is like a company or a society where that will be the entity that enters into uh, contracts or transactions. That is the entity that will be liable. Uh, the individuals won't be liable as they would be if it was an unincorporated trust. Um, so that the board will hold assets if it owns land or other assets, it will hold it in the name of the board rather than the individual trustees. Um, so the, the, there won't be individual be, uh, beneficiaries as with the unincorporated trust. So you'll have these charitable purposes or objects which will be set out in your trust deed. And again, you won't be levying anyone because you don't have actual members. Um, you just have uh, people who, who may be interested in the um, trust. And uh, so the funding for the Incorporated Trust Board, again, will be by way of donations or grants or bequests. Um, and, and that comes down to two, as I mentioned earlier, um, you've got the advantage of a limited liability. So those individuals won't be personally liable so long as they comply with their duties, um, either is set out in the actual trust deed or in the, the trust act. Now, in the, the trust act, which also applies to these incorporated charitable trusts, there are sets of duties that trustees must comply with. Um, there's some mandatory duties that trustees must comply with. Um, they can't contract out of them or change them. And a lot of those are, are probably fairly um, what you would expect in terms of the trustees must know the terms of the trust. So trustees acting, whether they're acting as trustees of an unincorporated trust or an incorporated trust board, they need to be familiar with their trust deed and need to understand um, what, what they have to do under that trust deed. They've got to act honestly and in good faith. Um, they have to exercise their powers for a proper purpose. So um, clearly they, they must always consider what the objects or purposes of the trust are when, when they're making decisions and taking any action and they've got to act for the benefit of the beneficiaries. And again, in, in the case of your catchment groups, that would be um, anything they do must be, to, be towards furthering the objects of the trust. There are also a set of uh, what's called default duties. So these are duties on trustees. Uh, they're imposed on trustees unless 
usually by reason of the, the trust deed, that they change slightly. And, and in, in a lot of cases, these duties are changed uh, to enable the trustees to act uh, for the benefit of the trust. Um, and, and the duties that are often um, changed in the actual trust deed are the duty to invest prudently, uh, not to exercise power for their own benefit. So when you're a trustee, of course, you must always consider the interests of the beneficiaries or the objects for the trust. It's not something that you can um, feather your own nest with. So you've always got to think of that conflict. Um, trustees must act unanimously normally. So if all the trustees can't agree on a decision, uh, then you're at a stalemate, although your uh, trustee can um, change that um, and say that decisions, for example, could be by a majority. Uh, and, and in an incorporated trust board, there would normally be some sort of process around how decisions are made uh, where you've got a, a large number of trustees and it would be impossible to have unanimous decisions but that's, that's the default uh, situation that trustees decisions must be unanimous. Um, as a trustee, you can't normally be paid um, and um, you must not act for reward. So again, that can be changed in the trustee because if you've got a professional acting as a trustee, then they, they will need to be paid or would want to be paid. Um, and you've always got to be impartial. You can't favour any beneficiary over another, although in terms of an incorporated trust board, um, you, 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 will, you will always be thinking about what's the object of this trust and is the action we're taking in, in keeping with the object of the trust. Um, so, yeah, so another, just to recap on the benefits. So the, the board will actually be the owner of the assets, not the individuals. You've got the trustees making the decisions and, uh, and the trustee will have processes around how, that, how those decisions are made. And the trustees won't be accountable to members because there aren't actually members of the incorporated trust boards. There's just a, a purpose or an object that that trust is, uh, needs to comply with. So that's the incorporated trust board.